Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Bow and Arrow Tarot. My name is Rebecca and I'm going to get right into the Aquarius Love Outlook for this week. Um, if you're new to my channel, uh, the Love Outlooks are a weekly relationship outlook, so I'm just going to try and see if I can get some clarity in one particular situation that Aquarius is having out there. Um, Spirits of Darkness and Light is how I start off these videos, just to see what kind of energies might be impacting this connection this week. So Aquarius, let's... Um, Let's get right into it, right? Um, if you're a regular on my channel, thank you so much for your continued support. I really do appreciate it. I love all of my watchers, new and regular. Um, you guys give me such good feedback, so thank you so much. But let's just see. How's Aquarius going to be doing this week in this connection? Show me. Of course, this is for August 30th to September 7th. <clears throat> So, we have Spirit of the Staircase, a regular on my channel, Spirit of Communication, and Spirit of the Ring. Wow. Beautiful energy. Spirit of Communication, talking about love letters, emails, texting, phone calls, Spirit of the Ring, that contract, that promise, and the long way home. For some of you, this feels like uh, a love, right? A long love that you've had with somebody that is finally coming to fruition, perhaps even. Look, because with the staircase, right? That staircase, long way home, spirit of the staircase. We're talking about something that's really been in the works for a while, right? So let's just see. And of course, that beautiful spirit of communication with that beautiful heart. Somebody's reaching out. Either you're reaching out, you're reaching out to someone and a ring. That promise, that commitment is there. All right, Aquarius, let's see what your spread is. Show me what's going on for my lovely Aquarius. Show me Aquarius this week. And this connection is really nice. Show me. All right, guys, so Aquarius, this week your person is coming in with four of cups. Interesting. And you are resonating with the devil. They see you as the ten of cups, and you see them as the ten of swords. Completion. They desire the star, and you desire king of cups. And what needs to happen for them is a knight of wands, and for you is a knight of pentacles. Wow. Do you see that? Do you see that pairing, Aquarius? Bottom of the deck, we have Page of Swords. So really talking about overcoming negativity and negative thoughts and really having confidence in yourself and your ideas. Um, being assured, being confident, right? Beautiful. It's really nice. Uh, so this is an interesting reading. Um, Aquarius, you're showing up in your reading because the star card is your card. A Capricorn is also showing up in a reading because the devil is the card for Capricorn. So let's get right into it, Aquarius. You and your person, how are you guys coming into this week? What energy are you bringing into this week? Well, your person is bringing in four of cups. They're feeling really sort of put out, right? They're pissed off. They're not willing to accept a cup of love from anyone. Uh, I feel like your person is coming into the week with an irritation, right? That feeling of, look, I don't need anybody. I don't need the world. I don't need anybody. Sometimes Four of Cups can come off like that. Like, especially when somebody's been hurt. It could be that your person's a little bit hurt by something. And you're just feeling a really, really sort of like, look, I don't, I don't need anything from anyone. That's Four of Cups energy sometimes. Now you're coming into the week with the devil, right? So you are coming into the week with an energy of like, hmm, oh, you know, I'm tired. Maybe the easy route is the better route. The devil is the card for the easy route, the route of instant gratification, the route that naturally leads us down, to, down the road of addiction, right? Down the road of dysfunctional relationships. Um, the devil is, you know, being a slave to your passion. So it's the weakness in us, right? It's our weaker sides that come to the surface when we're just not as happy as we want to be or we can't express ourselves. You're coming into the week kind of dealing with that energy, especially if you're a creative person. Aquarius, um, the, the devil card is one of the highest cards in the deck also for creativity. So if you are a highly creative person and you're not finding any satisfaction in that area, 
then the other side of the devil, which is like kind of going down the road of dysfunction, eat, like I said, instant gratis gratification to sort of make up for that disappointment comes in with the devil much harder, much easier, especially if you are a highly creative person, right? Now, how do you guys see each other? Well, your person sees you as the light of their life, completion. They see you as a ten of cups. You see them as a ten of swords. So this is also quite interesting because you see them as someone who is naturally an end to your burden in a lot of ways. Like, ten of swords is the end of a life where you are constantly hurt. Uh, Ten of Swords is also when you come to a point in your life where you resonate up. Your ego has resonated up. You're no longer the same person. You're not hurt by the same swords. All of it, right? It's completion, but it's the end of kind of like a lot of strife and arguing and pain. Um, and you see that in them. So for each of you, you see completion in the other one. But for you, Aquarius, you're, you're seeing very much a sense of like, it's almost as if you've been kind of wandering and torturing yourself and going through all of these trials and tribulations and ups and downs and these blows to your ego, especially in love, until now with this person who is really the end of that for you in a way. Very interesting. Um, feels also like it could be a long lost love because perhaps this love is a love that you lost or you were separated from for a very long time and all the way up until now being reunited with them. It has been a difficult road. So it makes sense that this person also represents for you the end of that road. So this is very much for an Aquarius, I want to say, that is in the middle of a love story. The Long Way Home, a love story, spirit of Prague of the staircase, right? Spirit of communication, spirit of the ring. <laughs> Very nice. Now, what do you guys desire? Well, your person desires to start. They desire to know and be sure and to continue to be on their path for their, their sort of life's desire, right? Your person is very much someone who is uh, believes in a certain sense of fate for themselves and a certain sort of, I want to say a path for themselves as well. See, star energy, it is your card, but it's also the card of like really sort of trying to be as present in life as possible so that you are always kind of on the road you've chosen for yourself. It's a very present, intentional kind of proactive way of uh, making sure that you're following your heart. And this is what your person desires. And in a lot of ways, I think with this relationship, following their heart is like, are you the right person? They want to know if you're the right person. Are you the one that fits in? Are you their life partner? You're dealing with someone who's highly romantic. And you, you desire King of Cups. So you want to also, you're desiring right now to go after your person, to go to be the hunter, to go after what it is you desire. King of Cups energy is coming in. Now, it could be vice versa. It could be that you are desiring for your person to come and hunt you, to come get you. You know, sometimes we want to be the hunter. Sometimes we want to be the hunted. It all depends on the dynamics of the relationship. But certainly King of Cups is about taking control and being very intentional about being with someone, who you want to be with and the type of relationship you want to have and really locking that down and taking sort of the dominant reign, the dominant, you know, the dominant sort of energy and making that happen. Now, male, female, it can be that the female is the dominant one. It doesn't really matter. This is not about energies. This is just about desire and what we want. And so in this case, Aquarius, you are desiring King of Cups energy, certainly a very determined energy about this connection. What needs to happen? You both have knights. So what needs to happen for both of you is a lot of communication. Knight of Wands is what needs to happen for your person and Knight of Pentacles for you. So your person needs to continue to follow their heart, their passion, and really be communicative about that and really throw all of their energy, mental energy into that. And you need to throw all your mental energy into your work so that you have the funds, you have the stability to be able to lock this down, right? Because Knight of Pentacles is all about that sort of doggedly committed sort of attitude to manifesting stability, manifesting um, 
you know, financial stability, environmental stability, right? I mean, the Knight of Pentacles is the most committed knight in the deck. And so for you, for him to come out in terms of what needs to happen in this relationship, Aquarius, it's clear that what stand, if there's anything standing in the way or if there's anything that this relationship is based on, it requires money or, or certainly requires, I want to say, financial stability, for your person, of course, it requires for them to continue to follow their heart, to continue to be uh, sort of knight of wands, right? Is is to really, um, I want to say, put that mental focus, because knights are always air. So putting that mental focus into your passion, so you are focused. Your person needs to remain focused on what their passion is, Right? They may be a little bit disheartened with some things this week, Four of Cups, but they do indeed see you as the completion to love in their life. So this is very much also down to you. It feels to me like this is two separate people who are separate from each other, may not be in a relationship just yet, but there is a longing there. There has been a love here. This feels like it's an old love that could come back. Aquarius, it could either be you or your person re reconciling with the other or coming back. And mind you, it doesn't feel to me like this is the reconciliation after a bad breakup. This is simply a love that didn't happen. You know, you guys maybe were two ships in the night and it didn't happen. Maybe even, you know, a few months ago, a few years ago, or many years ago. It doesn't matter, but it feels like this is the coming together of two people who, um... You know, there was always love there. Like, the love never ended. I think secretly you both continued to love each other and maybe even go on with your lives. But this week, this week is a possibility of you guys sort of reuniting. And it really depends on... Uh, a lot of it depends on your person and how they carry out their life in a very faded way. And then a lot of it depends on you, Aquarius, in terms of how, how much you are proactively wanting to make this happen. The kind of, I want to say that the ball is very much in your court. High Priestess, wow. The High Priest and the Ace of Pentacles. So I said money is the case, right? Financial stability is what's necessary. So for you, it could be that this week, Aquarius, it may be that this week you do have this incredible financial um, bounty that comes in, reward, bounty, opportunity that comes in that is allowing you to follow this path. High priestess is high level of intuitiveness and, and intuition and understanding. And then the high priest in this deck is the same as the Hierophant. So again, we have this spiritual kind of dedication and commitment. But the Hierophant and the love connection and the love reading also talks about that deep, deep level of commitment that you have to someone. Almost like I said, that love that you could have over a lifetime even if you're not together and you've both been with other partners, but deep, deep in your heart, there's that special love you kind of carry for each other and that possibility of maybe one day coming back together. High degree of intuition here. So Aquarius, for some of you, this, like I said, if this is something that you always knew was going to happen one day, this is kind of the week for it because the high priestess is letting you know, listen to your heart, listen to your intuition. And also, you know, she, she generally will let come into a reading to remind you that, um, this is something you already knew was going to happen. You had sort of a foretelling of this, right? You kind of heard the echoes of what was going to happen before in your mind. You heard your intuition told you this was going to happen one day and now it's coming together. Again, money, stability, and a golden opportunity. There's a golden opportunity here, I think, that is also a catalyst to this situation that is suddenly making something possible that has been sort of very much in the back burner for a long time. I'm going to leave it at that, Aquarius. This is a very romantic, once-in-a-lifetime reading. I can't, I really don't know what else to say. It's really, really beautiful. I hope you resonated with it. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share. Um, don't forget to um, hit that notification so you can be notified anytime I upload my videos. Um, but for right now, I'm just going to say, Aquarius, wow, what a romantic week. Please stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, stay kind to each other. I love you guys, and I'll see you at your next reading. Bye-bye now.